begin to let go. Just let go. Let go of fear. See fear as a black cloud that hovers over you, and you have a string that is holding it there. Now let the string go. See the dark cloud of fear float away. Watch it until it gets so small you can no longer see it. Feel a sense of release. Take another deep breath. And let go of anger. Let go of blame. Let go of guilt. Let go of sorrow. Let go of jealousy. Let go of tension. For these few moments, allow yourself to be at peace. There is no need to struggle. This doesn't have to be hard work. It's only a thought you need to change, and I will help you. I have been through this. I know that dissolving thought patterns helps to dissolve disease. Your breathing is now relaxing your whole body. There is no need for resistance now. You are perfectly safe. You can even go to sleep if you want to. Allow your scalp and your forehead to relax. Let all the muscles around your eyes relax. Let your eyes sink deep into your head and relax. Continue to relax your face, your cheeks, your lips, your tongue. Your jaw, your throat. Relax the back of your head, your neck, and shoulders. Let this relaxed feeling spread throughout your body, down the shoulders and upper arms. Into the elbows, forearms, wrists, and hands. Feel the tiny pulsations in your fingertips. This is your own energy pulsating. Allow your back to relax. Let those muscles get very heavy. Feel the relaxation in your upper chest, your rib cage, your abdomen, your pelvis. And your genitals. These relaxed feelings now move down through your thighs, knees, lower legs, ankles, and feet. Your skin relaxes. Your internal organs relax. Your emotions are relaxed. Feel the music move through you and relax you even more.
Remember, the power that created you has provided enough breath to last you for as long as you shall live. Each time you exhale, you don't even think about your next breath. You assume that it will be there for you. You have faith and trust that it will be there. Now extend your faith and trust to the areas of healing. Observe the breath as it goes in and out of your body. Notice that you don't have to do anything. There is an intelligence within you that breathes your body for you. This intelligence within you is part of the one intelligence that created this entire planet. You are not lost or lonely or forgotten or rejected or not good enough or left outside the door. You are one with the very power that created you and this power has given you the power to create your own experiences. The power of your mind. Every thought you think and every word you speak is creating your future. We now choose to use this power to create a wonderful new future for you. You are far more than just your body. You are pure consciousness. You are a divine, magnificent expression of life. You are one with all of life. And yet, no person no place and no thing has any power over you. For you are the only thinker in your mind. You are the creative power and you are the authority in your life. Now you are choosing to use your own power to help heal yourself. Yes, it is true that when you were a child, there were some difficult times. Times when you felt lonely, unwanted, and unloved. Perhaps you were rejected, or abandoned, or even abused and humiliated. Yes, I know, there were some terrible times. Some of them may have been so awful you don't even remember them. But the past has no power over you if you choose to live in the now. The point of power is in the present moment. Each moment is a new beginning and this moment is a new beginning for you right here and right now. So let's take the past, all of it, and wrap it up in the pink of divine love and release it and let it go. We affirm that you are now free. You are not your mother nor her fears. You are not your father nor his beliefs. You are not any of the relatives nor their opinions. You are not the teachers at school, nor their rigidity. And you are certainly not the limitations of your early religious upbringing. You are yourself, a divine, magnificent expression of life. You are unique and special 
and wonderful, one of a kind. Since time began on this planet, there has never been another person like you, and there never will be. Therefore, there is no competition and no comparison. You have your own unique talents and abilities and your own special way of expressing them. You are worthy of your own love and your own self-acceptance, not because of what you have done, but just because you exist. We order your subconscious mind to release any and all negative beliefs that are limiting you or harming you in any way. They must leave you now. It does not matter if we know exactly what they are or not. It doesn't matter how long these negative beliefs have been there. Now, in this moment, we order them wiped out, erased, eliminated, neutralized, and released. We affirm you are willing to let go and be free. It is safe to do this. We affirm a willingness within you to release the mental causes the mental patterns in your consciousness that are creating any negative conditions in your life now. We affirm you are willing to release the need for this condition in your body. You now allow it to disappear, to fade away, to dissolve back into the nothingness from whence it came. We affirm you are willing to begin to dissolve all resentment and blame. One of the ways to release the walls of resentment that keep you imprisoned is to really understand where the other person is coming from, to go behind their behavior and feel what is going on inside. How much do you really know about your parents' childhood? What was it really like for them to be very little? What were their fears and terrors? When you can truly understand this, then there is not any need for forgiveness. Old instances just dissolve in the light of understanding and compassion. The little child inside you that you have been scolding for so long wants to hear that you love it. It wants to feel safe so that it can get well and stay well. When you were a little child, what you wanted more than anything else was for the people around you to love and accept you exactly as you were. You are still looking for that approval now. Only the only person who can give it to you now is yourself. Other people's approval has no meaning if you don't give it to yourself. I want you to visualize yourself as a little child of five or six. And look deeply into this little child's eyes. See the longing that is there and realize that there is only one thing this little child wants from you and that is love. So reach out your arms and embrace this child. Hold it with love 
and tenderness. Tell it how much you love it, how much you care. Tell the child how beautiful it is and how bright and clever you think it is. Admire everything about this child and say that it's okay to make mistakes while learning. Say that you will always be there no matter what happens. Now let this little child get very small until it's just the size to fit into your heart and put it there so whenever you look down you can see this little face looking up at you and you can give it lots of love now visualize your mother as a little girl of four or five frightened and looking for love and not knowing where to find it. Reach out your arms and hold this little girl and let her know how much you love her, how much you care. Let her know she can rely on you, that you will always be there no matter what. When she quiets down and begins to feel safe, let her get very small, just the size to fit into your heart. Put her there with your own little child. Let them give each other lots of love. Now visualize your father as a little boy of three or four, frightened and crying and looking for love. See the tears rolling down his little face as he doesn't know where to turn. You have become good at comforting frightened little children. So reach out your arms and hold his trembling little body. Comfort him. Croon to him. Let him feel how much you love him. Let him feel that you will always be there for him. When his tears are dry and you feel the love and peace in his little body, let him get very small, just the size to fit into your heart. Put him there, so those three little children can give each other lots of love, and you can love them all. There is so much love in your heart that you could heal the entire planet, but just for now. Let us use this love to heal you. Feel a warmth beginning to glow in your heart center.